Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the zodiac sign Cancer and life, and yes, it does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Anyway, well, the first thing up is as far as the zodiac sign Cancer and life goes, their life may be one that consists of a lot of nurturing others and being sympathetic toward people, uh, giving uh, moral support to others in need, even if the cancer can't provide anything on a monetary or material level, cancer will often be there for people uh, in their time of need in some way, shape, or form. And uh, this is something, too, where, again, I mean, looking at the zodiac sign cancer, they're often very family-oriented, and they desire to care for others. The family, uh, they could be very strong family defenders as well, and they wind up uh, being the ones that stand up for their family in many instances during the course of their life and existence. Now, the family may dominate cancer's existence during uh, their time on this mundane sphere. And the thing about cancer is, is that, you know, you look at, sadly, I mean, cancer may uh, often has a weak constitution, especially if this is the ascendant, because the ascendant uh, is connected, of course, with the physical vitality and uh, physical energy vitality in their constitution as well. And cancer, sadly, may often have a rather weak uh, constitution. Uh, they have the propensity toward chest and stomach ailments, but it doesn't mean they can't get other things as well. I mean, they may be more susceptible to just simple colds and flus and, and things because their immune system is not robust. They don't really have much resistance to illnesses and debilitations in general and they're very vulnerable uh, to these things. So for the zodiac sign cancer, a lot of people that have this in their, in their sun, moon, ascendant, especially the ascendant, they would be more, they, they often have some, sadly, a proclivity toward uh, illness in their life. I had a prominent family member who was everything but compulsively uh, complaining about uh, or some kind of a sickness she had, and she had her cancer ascendant at 29 degrees, the full culmination, of course, the 29th degree in astrology is a critical degree and an aneritic degree. This, the ascendant is associated with the physical body and can be connected with health-related matters and your general uh, vitality and energy. And she was uh, incessantly complaining about being sick. I can remember one time she would say to me, I have a terrible, terrible cold. I thought it was actually just allergies, but whatever it was, she'd seen that she constantly, you know, was bedridden and had you know, illnesses. And the thing about uh, cancer too, the zodiac sign cancer, is that their life may be about really being one of the biggest, you know, rescuing people a lot. Cancer, uh, they are putting, a, even though cancer is known to be a rather timid, passive sign, they are ones that will often be there for somebody to rescue, whether it could be somebody drowning or somebody in a very debilitated state or, or even, say, a bad mental state, and they try to be there to give them, you know, to uplift their spirits somehow. There's things of that nature. They are ones that will often be there uh, for others when other people may have sadly dissipated into thin air. Now, the thing about it is cancer can also, uh, during the course of their life, may go through a multiple, uh, mul I'm sorry, a multitude of changes in their residence. And a lot of this, I mean, of course, the zodiac sign cancer is associated with the home being ruled by the moon, and moon is about a lot of fluctuation. Remember, the moon changes signs around every two and a half days or so on average in their life. And I think you have a lot of that energy, that really changeable, vacillating energy uh, with cancer. In my case, I've had so many changes, it's not even funny. I can't even count them. And I also have, there's some other, and a lot of it too is, is predicated on other elements in your chart. Like in my example, I mean, I have the moon in Gemini, and the moon can be associated with the home. And Gemini is very mercurial, vacillating energy and restless energy. That plays a role as well. And the fact in my progress chart, I have Pluto and Uranus in the fourth house right now. So there's a lot of instability in my home uh, situation, to say the absolute least. 
But going back to the zodiac sign Cancer in life, the thing about uh, Cancer too, sadly, in a lot of instances, they may endure a lot of turmoil and adversity, and it may be due to an over-emotional and irrational behavior. You take a uh, son in Cancer, Conor McGregor, for example, who is an ex-mixed uh, martial artist, an MMA fighter, and some of you may have heard he's been embroiled in a lot of controversy and problems. And I think I would say a lot of this is attributed to irascible uh, actions. He's a Cancer with Taurus rising, like myself. He's actually got his ascendant at Taurus at the same degree as mine. That the, uh, could be seen as a dreaded 22 degrees. It's a critical degree in astrology. Fixed signs at 22 degrees are critical. But going back to Conor McGregor being the sun in Cancer, he has had a lot of irascible actions. Some of you may have heard he took a a dolly and threw it out a window on a, a bus that was pulling away uh, from him one time he smashed somebody's I don't know if it was like a smartphone or an iPhone and he's been accused of some kind of indecent exposure and sexual assault on somebody and his life is sadly is on a decline uh, and a lot of this is due to over emotional energy and I think and also too many of you may remember when Mike Tyson oddly enough a son and fellow son in cancer that his life went on a downward spiral back in like the early 90s uh, when he lost the fight for Buster Douglas he got uh, accused of some kind of rape or something and he uh, and he spent some time uh, he was incarcerated for a little bit uh, I believe because of that and he had to try to come back and revive his career and he never was quite the same uh, since, but a lot of it is because of this emotional instability of cancer, sadly, is what causes problems for them during uh, the course of their life. Now, and also, their existence may have a lot of ups and downs and fluctuations. Again, going back to the point about the zodiac sign cancer being ruled by the moon, it's very fluctuating energy. It changes about signs around every two and a half days, roughly. And, uh, and cancer themselves are known to be a sign that could be very moody, temperamental, and fickle. And it seems like it correlates with their life. Their life is very changeable. They could have something really uh, positive happen for them one minute and then something absolutely completely negative. Uh, the next, uh, it could have something to do with cancers vacillating their mood swings. When they're very positive and they're upbeat and happy, it can inspire positive things that happen for them, but if they're overly negative and pessimistic or they're not in a good mood or frame of mind, it can uh, detract others from them and bad thing, and, and at least positive things may not happen for them at the, because of that. And the thing about it too is when we look at the zodiac sign cancer, I remember some book I read and I wish I can remember the name of it. It was one of those books that was telling like, like all about the zodiac signs and a very specific physical descriptions etc on it and it said something about I believe ever if I remember right every seven years in for cancer those zodiac sign cancer would be significant and it's interesting me being uh, a son in cancer I can resonate uh, with that because I can remember for example when I say when I was like uh, 28 that's like every you know so that's a seven, you know, one of those uh, seven-year intervals or whatever, because you're going every seven years. The first, the first point is seven years old, then 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, etc. So 28 years old falls into that category. And I can uh, remember there was a time I had I started working at Kmart shortly before I turned up 28, and I stayed there till for a number of years until I was 35 years old and that was another seven year point for me and then 35 years old I had quit the job because I had so what I believe irrevocable nerve damage and then when I was 42 I started the YouTube uh, astrology channel and and really it, it does seem like cancer is involved and correlates with very uh, you know, with seven year, every seven years for cancer, something does significant can transpire with them. They seem to correlate in seven year cycles uh, as far as the zodiac sign cancer goes. And sadly, too, for cancer, they often can be some life of dependency. I'm not talking about uh, drugs or alcohol, but what I mean is being dependent, sadly, 
on uh, other people. I've, I've been in a situation for some time where I've been dependent on other people for rides, for example. Uh, I've been in situations, uh, I mean, I have a somebody too as a prominent family member whenever she faced some kind of adversity practically or a lot of instances she would have to go uh to her mother's it's the cancer rising woman i was telling you about before and uh, i'm gonna go i'm gonna have to go get her she said and uh there, there's just something about them that that has a certain dependency that on others they're very clingy uh, cancer is known to be very, they, cancer will often live their life doing things with a lot of tenacity, that is one of the things, but they often will be clinging to others when maybe it hits a point in time when they really shouldn't be uh, doing so. And another thing too about the zodiac sign cancer is that during the course of their life attaining things in their existence, they may take a rather indirect manner uh, to uh, attaining them and rather than hitting things uh, directly and another thing about the zodiac sun cancer and during their life and in order and as far as living longer well remember that can the zodiac sun cancer can be very introverted and they're not always known to really work out vigorously or exercise strongly it, it's imperative for them to maintain some kind of healthy diet or ex and exercise a regime working out consistently keep in mind that mars is in its fall in cancer and mars is about physical activity and energy and vitality there's an understanding why mars is in its fall in the zodiac sign cancer cancer often uh, detests and disdains uh, exercise and working out they'd rather be doing something creative or just something home related that may not be expending uh, an abundance of energy I mean, I don't get me wrong, I'm not stereotyping the zodiac sign cancer by any means. You look at Sylvester Stallone, son in cancer, he's an older person, and he looks like he's in pretty good shape. He has a Sagittarius ascendant, so you have to look at all. And it's, a Sagittarius could be associated with sports and athletics, and he seems to me to be very athletic, in very good shape. He looks like he might still work out fairly vigorously. Now, some of you may remember... Uh, a renowned running back Barry Sanders, another son in cancer. Some see him as the, the best NFL running back ever. I don't know what his ascendant is. He may have had a completely different ascendant, but obviously we can't stereotype all, all cancers because everybody's, you have to look at the whole chart. I'm son in cancer, but I also have my son in a conjunction to Mars. And I used to be very active in sports on a recreational level. So, Anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Learned said, stay well.